Real estate is not a commodity, but it, I think it tends to be more accurately priced, particularly developed real estate, more accurately priced most of the time. Now, during the RTC period, when you had huge amounts of transactions and you had a you had an owner that didn't want to be an owner in a very big way and they didn't know what the hell they owned and all of that sort of thing. I mean, you had a lot of mispricing then, and I know a few people in this room that made a lot of money off of that. Uh, but under most conditions, it's, it's hard to find real estate that's really mispriced. There's a secret to why billionaire entrepreneurs love stocks more than real estate, and it has nothing to do with what you've been told. Behind closed doors, Many of the richest businessmen don't actually see properties as the path to true fortune building. And it's all because of this very reason, wealth creation. Stocks offer an opportunity to multiply your money 10, 20, or even 100 times over in a few short years by getting in on the ground floor of game-changing companies. Real estate just can't compete with those kinds of returns no matter how many rental properties you accrue. Today, we'll learn exactly why wealthy moguls prefer to concentrate their fortunes on the stock market instead of buying up housing after housing. The stock market's working. When we think of billionaires like Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos, we rarely associate them with real estate empires. This raises the question of why these successful entrepreneurs do not invest more in property, considering it is a proven way to build lasting wealth. The answer is that they have discovered an even more lucrative strategy, investing in the public stock market we look at it, the criteria for selecting a stock is really the criteria for looking at a business. Uh, we are looking for a business we can understand. That means they sell a product that we think we understand and we understand the nature of their competition, what could go wrong with it over time. And then when we find that business, we try to figure out whether the economics of it means the earning power over the next five or 10 or 15 years is likely to be good and getting better or poor and getting worse. Although real estate may seem like a safer investment than stocks at first glance, it requires a significant amount of hands-on work. Whether you're renting out single-family homes or managing a portfolio of apartment buildings, being a landlord takes considerable time and effort. From building maintenance to finding new tenants, handling repairs and more, real estate investing can be time-consuming. Because there's nothing passive about dealing with renters and heat and, right. air, heat and air that goes out and roofs that leak. and a coach department shows up and wants to shut you down because somebody across the street cut a sewer line. Uh, there's nothing passive about managing real estate. Nothing whatsoever. Um, it's very active. Please enjoy the idea that this is going to be some hassle factor that other investments don't have. This is not ideal for entrepreneurs like Buffett and Musk, who would rather spend their time growing their companies. Stocks offer instant diversification across hundreds or even thousands of global businesses with a single online trade. Billionaires recognize the potential of innovative corporations to produce returns that exceed even the most optimistic real estate projections. I spent $114.75, three, three shares, $114.75. If I put that $114 into the S&P 500 at that time and reinvested the dividends, think of a figure as to what it might be, would be worth today. Oh man! Well, it's okay. You know, just tell I, I just want right. your audience to think okay. for a second. Okay. The answer, okay. the answer is about four hundred thousand oh. dollars. For example, an investment of fifty thousand dollars in Amazon in 1997 would be worth over fifty-nine million dollars today. No apartment building can increase in value two thousand times over twenty-five years. Despite the steady appreciation of property portfolios over decades, top-tier stocks offer the chance to multiply money ten x, fifty x, or more. This massive return on investment is how the wealthiest individuals turn millions into multi-billion dollar fortunes. And it explains their obsession with riding winning companies to astronomical heights through focused equity ownership. Buffett still lives in the same modest home he has owned for over 60 years. And Musk famously sold all his mansions, choosing to live minimally and even crashing on friends' couches. In 2020, he sold over $100 million in homes, stating that he would not own any properties. Musk views companies like Tesla and SpaceX as his top assets worth billions, not houses. In fact, I don't even own a home right now. Um, I'm literally staying at friends' places. I, if I travel to the Bay Area, which is where most of Tesla engineering is, I, I stay in my, I basically rotate through friends' spare bedrooms. 
Another major benefit billionaire entrepreneurs like Buffett recognize in stocks is their superior liquidity compared to real estate. Here's the reality. Stocks are very liquid. I could turn it into money quickly. Real estate, uh, not so much. We've all heard horror stories about properties stagnating on the market for half a year or more as buyers prove elusive. But with securities, an investor can sell millions of dollars worth of shares with a few taps on a trading platform and have the cash settled just days later. This ability to instantly convert equity holdings into liquid funds gives moguls a flexibility that extensive property portfolios cannot match. What's more, if an opportunity arises requiring a swift injection of capital, say to pursue an acquisition, stocks don't constrain them the way that offloading swaths of land and homes would. A prime example is Elon Musk's unprecedented $44 billion cash acquisition of Twitter in 2022 by leveraging his significant Tesla shareholdings as collateral for loans against the deal. Um, I sold a, a lot of Tesla stock to close this deal. Musk was able to move far quicker than if he'd had to dump chunks of real estate assets to fund the purchase. Stocks also offer control that real estate inherently lacks, as majority owners of privately held companies or significant stockholders of public firms, businessmen like Musk and Buffett have their fingers on the pulse of strategic decision-making. They get to help steer innovation efforts, shape company culture, and potentially even influence geopolitical change through their organizations. To them, this is true power, as opposed to merely being a landlord who collects rents but exercises zero sway over a property's use or development. It's no wonder the richest prefer vehicles that grant real power through concentrated equity stakes versus being tied to static brick-and-mortar assets with no voice in operational governance, liquidity, and influence are extra perks that solidify stock's superiority in these moguls' eyes. One of the most compelling arguments for why the ultra-wealthy favor stocks is the simply astronomical growth their portfolios have demonstrated over long-time horizons. Warren Buffett is arguably the best example, having grown a mere $10,000 investment in his firm Berkshire Hathaway into a net worth of over $100 billion today through mostly buy-and-hold stock picks across his six-and-a-half-decade career. The big thing about it is we, we uh, started building this little snowball on top of a very long hill. So we started at a very early age in rolling the snowball down. And of course, the snowball, the nature of compound interest is it behaves like a snowball. But that's the only way to do it. I mean, you have to buy businesses and you, or little pieces of businesses called stocks. And you have to buy them at attractive prices and, and you, have to buy them in, you have to buy into good businesses. And, that advice will be the same 100 years from now in terms of investing. That's, that's what it's all about. Buffett has proved that patiently owning exceptional businesses can truly multiply your original capital 1,000-fold or more with the passage of decades. It's a level of wealth amplification simply not achievable, no matter how large a real estate portfolio becomes. Other billionaire investors like Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg have followed similar incredible trajectories of wealth growth. Bezos started Amazon in 1994 with merely $300,000 of his own money combined with investments from friends and family. Yet thanks to the company's astronomical rise, he now possesses a net worth of over $120 billion. Likewise, Mark Zuckerberg launched Facebook from his Harvard dorm room in 2004 with just $1,000. Even after the recent stock plunge, Zuckerberg's stake remains valued at around $55 billion. Both entrepreneurs grew tiny personal investments of thousands into multi-billion dollar fortunes by taking their visionary companies public and holding significant equity stakes for decades as their value exponentially increased. While real estate steadily inches up in value year over year through rental income and asset appreciation, concentrated stock stakes allow for the possibility of hyperbolic growth curves. Not only can innovative companies surge 1,000% or more as industries explode, but moguls get the opportunity to reinvest the earnings and dividends back into those same high upside bets. This powerful compounding effect over generations is what has built the wealth that underpins today's Fortune 500 and scores of billion-dollar fortunes. The real estate model can make you well off for sure, but it cannot compete with the potential returns visible in the stock ownership stories of the world's richest people. That is why these business titans rationally favor using their massive capital reserves to chase the outsized winners of public markets. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.